Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm so happy that you're here. Today I did a review on this silver collection by Ulta Beauty. Um, I got this for Christmas and I couldn't find it on their website but if you have it then maybe you'll enjoy this review. If not, hey, something you can watch when you're bored. Uh, it comes with six matte eyeshadows, sh six shimmer eyeshadows, um, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And then on the other side, it comes with, sorry, on the other side, it comes with eight lipstick pans, three cream eliminators, and four color correcting concealers. Um... Yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that we can be friends. And if you want to know how to get this look, or if you just want to see me review this palette, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, we're going to get started with this review, and I'm also going to do swatches, as you saw. Um, here's the palette. It they, it has mirrors on both sides of this palette, and yeah, and this first one, it has all the eyeshadows right here. It's got some shimmers and mattes, and then on the bottom, there's the highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. And then on the other side, we have eight lipstick pans, four color correctors, and then three cream illuminators, which I probably won't use because I don't, I don't really care for them. All right. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is swatch all of the eyeshadows for you. Here are the swatches. Um, as you can see, they're not that pigmented but who knows you can't can't really tell how good a palette is by swatches you can only just tell how they swatch um a lot of these shades did swatch patchy and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of worried about that but hey we'll see um next on the back of my hand I'm going to swatch the um, highlighter and the blush and the bronzer. Okay, there is it's kind of hard to see the highlighter, but the highlighter's up here and the blush and the bronzer. Um, again, not very pigmented, but who knows how they look on the face. Okay, um, I'm not going to swatch the other section, um, I just don't see a need to, it probably won't show up that well, but anyway, um, so on my face, I have only done my foundation, my eyebrows, and primed my eyes, um, I did not do bronzer, blush, or highlight because it's in this palette and we're going to test it out, or my eyeshadow because it's in this palette. I also didn't do lips or nothing like that. Um, I didn't do concealer. There is no concealer in this palette, but I really want to dig into the color correctors. So that's why I didn't do concealer. So we're going to do some color correcting. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put it under my eyes. By the way guys, I have not used um, any Ulta eyeshadows, so this is also like a first impressions for me, kind of. Um, I've never really used them before, so I don't really know how they perform and everything, so 
This is going to be interesting. I assure you on that one. Um, I'm just going to take some concealer and put it in. I'm taking my Fit Me concealer in the shade Light. set my face now with my Cody Airspun Loose Powder. And I'm first going to take my blending brush and the first shade that I'm going to take is this like bone color shade and I'm going to put it all over my lid. The next shade that I'm going to take is this gray, dark gray color. pigment guys I don't know if you can tell but I definitely can see the pigment so it's okay so far all right I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna warm up the crease and I'm gonna take this shade um, I'm gonna treat this like I would treat any eyeshadow palette and take it little by little I put it on my lid because if you put too much then it's gonna be like ink. so in with my blending brush and blend so there's no harsh lines. Okay, and then I'm going to take I think I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to take it with my finger, just like I would any other shimmer shadow. And I'm going to put it in the middle. See guys, it doesn't, I mean it comes off a little bit, but it doesn't really that much. Okay, with these eyeshadows, I did have to go in a lot. Like, I had to literally dig in this palette to get that. But, I mean, I'm not going to say it's a total loss, really. I mean, at least it showed up and there is pigment. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the shine, but there is glitter and shine on it. So, um, I'm going to dip into 
my blending brush and I'm going to take these two shades that we used in our crease and I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little more and blend this out. Taking my flat brush, sorry, <laughs> my flat brush, and I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this white shade right here and highlight my brow bone. definitely ain't mad about it but see these shadows did not swatch good but they they shot up pretty well I mean it's good for this kind of natural look I'm not going too crazy with this so it'll do um yeah all right so we're gonna go into the bronzer in this palette and I'm going to contour and bronze. to take my Luxie 524T brush and that's what I use for blush all the time and I'm going to take this blush. Ooh, that's pigmented. take the highlighter and we're gonna highlight god I really hope this highlighter is good because it did not swatch good but you never know mad at the highlight I'm, I'm really not that's some good highlighter it's good okay next I'm gonna take we're gonna go on the lower lash line and I'm gonna take my eye crease brush and I'm gonna go into these two shades right here corner highlight and I'm gonna take I think I'm gonna take this shade right here for inner corner highlight my mascara and I'm gonna put some lashes on and eyeliner and then when I come back we'll do the lips okay guys lashes and eyeliners done so I'm gonna use one of these lipstick pans um, I'm gonna use this one since we're going with like a natural look just 
doing that so bold lip and I'm taking um, a lipstick brush I'm gonna try it with the brush first and if it doesn't come off or work then I guess I'll use my finger this is the final look I hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this review um, first review I've done on my channel and I hope I did good I feel like maybe I did <laughs> um, these eyeshadows um, I'm definitely gonna play with this palette a lot more um, before I give like a definite no to it because it did have some pigment to it but the swatches didn't but when it came off on the face it did and it created a natural look so I'll play with this a little more the bronzer I love the bronzer I think it did its job it was good uh, the blush very pigmented so be careful just take a little I took a lot um well kind of on purpose just to see if it a lot would come off and the highlight I mean I'm living for the highlight. I love it. Uh, the lips, I use this one. The lipstick is, it's good. It's good for, it's good. I think it's good for this. Um, it does make a mess in the thing, but it's okay. I feel like you really have to dig at these shadows, but like I said, I'm going to play with it more. And the plus is it comes with mirrors on both sides, so that's a plus for when you want to travel with it but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye